Hello and welcome to the second part of our Q&A videos, Q&A series uh, about life in Japan. The first video is going to be here in a pop-up. I believe it's going to be here or here. So please check it out and please write any questions about life in Japan that you have. I'm going to answer it as soon as possible, right? In the third episode of this series. So today we're going to have nine questions and if you hear any noise from AC I'm really sorry because now in Japan it is very hot maybe 31 degrees Celsius and the Japanese sun is extremely powerful in my opinion because compared to Russian sun Japanese sun is extremely powerful maybe 10-15 minutes and I'm already red so I need to use a lot of sunscreen yeah and actually write down what do you think about Japanese sun <laughs> is it powerful is it strong? Because in my opinion, it is really strong. Uh, and I'm gonna read answers for your questions because I already prepared them and I don't want you to listen my uh, ooh, uh, <laughs> when I'm thinking about answers. So I already write down, wrote down everything about your questions. So let's start with number one. How many earthquakes did you face in Japan? So, not actually a lot. Uh, I lived in Tokyo area for one year and on average there are from one to three noticeable earthquakes uh, in my area. But now I'm living in a safe place in terms of earthquakes because I moved from Tokyo prefecture to different prefecture. And uh, if you're in Japan right now, I can really recommend you the app Yuru, Yurekuru, Yurekuru Call app. Uh, it looks like this. And in my experience, it is the most reliable app. Of course, it is paid, but it's only 120 yen. So it's, of course, the decision is on you. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, about this, about earthquakes. Uh, this app just sends you the notification like earthquake earthquake uh, because you know that you can't predict the earthquakes so sometimes like a little bit uh, time like several seconds before earthquakes uh, is very good to have this time because you can prepare a little bit to like sit down or stand up or get from the very tall shelves and uh, be in a safer place. Number two, is Japan really what people hype about? Mm, so it really depends on the image that you had before coming to Japan. Because in my case, this image mm, matched at around 80%. Because uh, I made a lot of research in a, not like YouTube where oh, oh restaurant oh, oh festival no this is stupid uh, about taxes about uh, bills about everything like medication uh, all medical system insurance all this stuff about people so in my opinion in my case in eighty percent I it matched with my expectation but. I think that Japan is really what people hype about because uh, Japan is really different. It is a different country compared to any countries that I've been. So yeah, Japan is really different and in my opinion it is really what people hype about. <laughs> uh, do number three, question number three. Do people treat you differently because you are a foreigner? Uh, this is no surprise. Yes, 100%. It varies from region to region, because in Kansai region and in Tokyo region uh, it is pretty different, yeah. Uh, but overall, yes, yes, they treat you different. But I can't say that I have any... I have had any experience, any bad behavior or something like that. Most of the time, most of the time, Japanese people try to help you or willing to help you, but you need to speak a little bit Japanese, at least a little bit to say like, excuse me, like, sumimasen, 
or ask some simple questions like where is it doko desu ka like where is it or oh, ikikata do desu ka nan desu ka like uh, how to go there so in little bit japanese is is better to have a little bit japanese because sometimes japanese people can be really confused and scared of native english speakers because sometimes they speak uh, very like quickly and the Japanese people sometimes get scared because their Jap uh, their English is not really good. So it is better to approach them with Japanese, like sumimasen, and then try to speak slowly in English, maybe uh, getting to put some Japanese words in between, like Toshokan, where, where is Toshokan? Yeah, if you if you search to library, right? So maybe they can understand you, but most of the time they are they are willing to help you. And uh, in my case, one time I've received help from Japanese lady in a city hall, but in English. She just approached me and said, "Oh, well, what do you want actually?" And I thought that she's a worker in the city hall, right? But no, she was just a lady in the city hall, just visitor like I am. So yeah. Uh, they willing to help you. So in my experience, do treat you, do people treat you differently because you are a foreigner? Yes, hundred <laughs> uh, percent. Number four, do you eat dogs? <laughs> what about cats? So no, <laughs> no. Uh, I think you are mistaken. Uh, Japan with in other countries. I don't know. Maybe some other Asian countries. I think. In China, they eat dogs, but I can mistake. But I can ensure you for hundred percent that in Japan they don't eat dogs and cats. And of course, I don't eat dogs and cats. Yeah, actually, in Japan, dogs are extremely popular as a pet, and they are everywhere. And in Tokyo, you even can see Japanese people <laughs> have like, trollers with the uh, dogs so yeah it is very interesting uh, and bizarre <laughs> situations but yeah japanese people really like dogs and cats but not as food but as pets okay number five okay a question can children eat karage karage is a uh, chicken fried chicken in japanese style because karage uses alcohol like beer to make properly. Are children allowed to eat that if it has alcohol in it? So the answer is simple. Yes, uh, because oh yes, everybody can eat karage. You can buy it in 7-Eleven, I believe, in Family Mart or in, in Lawson, like in Kambini chains uh, in Japan. Uh, so everybody can eat karage because all alcohol uh, evaporated during the cooking process, right? So because of the heat, alcohol evaporates uh, quickly than uh, water. So yeah, everybody can eat karage, and otherwise a lot of adults gonna have problem uh, while driving because Japanese laws are extremely strict about alcohol intoxication while you're driving so yeah everybody can eat karage there is no alcohol in it and actually you can check it because uh, in japan when you check out on a, in a grocery store convenience store like uh, and you have anything adult related like tobacco uh, cigarettes like cigarettes alcohol or something like that they're gonna be pop up like press the button that you are 20 years old or uh, higher and it, when you buy karage there is no such sign yeah okay number uh, six do vending machines really sell everything in japan uh, there is there isn't anything you can buy from a vending machine uh yes especially in the big cities you can find a lot of interesting vending machines like ramen, uh, mystery boxes, hot potatoes, broth, ta takoyaki, sauces, like shirasha sauce, and so on. But they're rare, they're not everywhere, they're rare. And uh, usually a lot of vending machines just sell regular beverages, like cold and hot beverages. 
Number seven, are there actually maid cafes in Japan and is, it, is that only a manga thing? Uh, no, it is not a manga thing. Uh, actually, I can say about Tokyo. In Tokyo, in the Akihabara area, there are a lot of maid cafes, but I don't think they're 100% like manga because it is real life, right? It's not manga. But yeah, it's not a manga thing. It is really existing stuff. Manga cafes. No, manga cafes. Maid cafes. Maid cafes, of course. But there are manga cafes too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what part of Japan do you leave? Question number eight. So I used to live in Tokyo area, in uh, Shinjuku. And uh, now I've moved because I found the work and uh, the work is in a different prefecture, so I moved to a different prefecture that's pretty far from Tokyo. I believe it's more than two hours by plane. And uh, I can say that this prefecture is near the Hiroshima. Okay, this is answer for your question. Okay, number one, uh, number nine, the last question. I was. Uh, how cheap living in Japan is compared to your home country? Seems a bit obvious, but would be good to know for people who want to move here. Uh, this is a little bit like US comment, because a lot of people from US say that Japan is extremely cheap compared to US, but in my experience, because I'm not from US, I'm from Russia, uh, Japan is not really cheaper than Russia. So let's start with the uh, apartment. So in Tokyo, apartment cost maybe 20% higher than in uh, Moscow. If we're talking about central uh, central areas like Shinjuku, Shibuya and so on, like Minato, Chiyoda and so on. So yeah, compared to central Moscow, it's maybe a little bit higher, uh, like 20, 10-20%. Uh, in terms of groceries, oh no, about apartment we paid 114 thousand four twenty five square meters in a pretty new building in Tokyo and uh, in Moscow we had our own apartment so we didn't pay for that. So groceries are a little bit more expensive here in Japan maybe 10% higher. Meat is, uh, meat is more expensive and the groceries an average 10% higher than in uh, Russia. But the quality of food significantly higher here in Japan than in Russia. In Russia it's uh, trash. The quality of food, uh, of food a lot of times are trash. If you want good food, good quality food, it's gonna be really uh, higher price than in Japan. Yeah. Uh, transportation is significantly more expensive here in Japan. Yeah, it is extremely expensive here in Japan compared to Russia because in Russia it is extremely cheap. You can, uh, your metro, like subway pass for one time, I believe it's half a dollar, like 50 cents or close to one dollar. So it is extremely cheap. And here it's two dollars or something like that. Yeah. But now I'm not really spending a lot of money for Transportation, because I have bicycle and I use bicycle here everywhere. My town is actually not really big, but even in Tokyo, if you live uh, close to your work, you can save a lot of money by using your bicycle, because in Tokyo, everything is packed, everything is uh, really close to each other, like grocery stores, uh, medical supplies, uh, medical like hospitals and so on so yeah it is very close so bicycle is a really way to go yeah i think for today this is all question thank you for watching this video i hope you're gonna write more questions about japan in the comment section and i will make the episode three and today thanks for watching please press a like uh, write a comment and subscribe to my channel bye